Blindfold thing's getting old. Yeah, well, it's do or die time. You get another crack at joining the Midnight Society. And one way or the other, after tonight, you'll never have to wear this again. No way, burn it. Oh, bury it. We don't want any toxic fumes. <sighs> hey, if I don't get a fair shot, I'm out of here. No way. <sighs> You've got a chance, right? Don't worry, we'll be fair. Come on, Stig, tell your story. So what do we need these things for, anyway? For a demo. Everyone tune to your favorite station. When I say go, turn them on. OK? One, two, three, go. Second, of every day, there are tons of invisible radio signals flying all around us. Yeah, so? So, with all those invisible signals, there's no way to tell if maybe hidden somewhere in the static, there might be a signal coming from some place we never thought of. Like where? Like maybe beyond the grave. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. I call this story... The Tale of Station 109.1. Dinner's ready, Chris. And how many times do I have to tell you? Pick up your clothes. I wonder if anyone's ever buried alive. Imagine being in the coffin, having dirt dark on top. <clears throat> Past the grave? Uh, I mean, gravy. I wonder how long you can survive in there. What a cheesehead. brother was strange. What's his problem? Oh, yeah. I guess he was playing capture the flag in this big old graveyard with some of his dork friends. That must have been real creepy, because not only he talked about his graves and funerals and stuff. That's weird. Poor kid. Poor nothing, man. He's deranged. Why don't you do something to make him snap out of it? What you playing? Hangman. Figures. You didn't see what came on the lot this afternoon. No. A hearse. No. Yeah, and it just came back from a funeral. No way. Way. Cool. I wonder how many bodies. 
bodies have been in here. Come here, check this out. Try it out for size, man. There's a dead guy in this afternoon. How cool is this? Lie down, make yourself at home. Here lies Chris Leary, dearly departed. May he rest in peace. Jamie, let me out of here! Do you know what you quiet down? Who wake the dead? This is 109.1, radio for the dimensionally challenged. Sometimes you miss the chance to step over and need guidance. That's where we come in, friends. All you need to do is follow my voice and I'll help you find the way home. Can you help me? Huh? Can you help me find the way home? Sorry. No. Boy. Hey, I'm listening to that. It's four o'clock, Chumpy. You know I never miss Clark and Ryan. I do what you want. Don't be mad. I was just trying to get you to lighten up. So lighten up. No station currently assigned 109.1? Weird. Excuse me, is this the radio station? I'm not cutting, I just want to ask a question. Do not knock on the window! What's the matter with you? You can't breathe? Here, knock window. Do not on the... Let's try it together, shall we? Do not knock on the window! But I'm not... This is an interesting phenomenon that's taking place. It's like one person and then there's another one behind them, all standing quietly, one after the other. What do you suppose that is? Um. It's a lie! That 
That's what it is! It's a lie! Why don't you try waiting in the line? Next. Is... is this the radio station? Ah, never mind. Come on. Look, maybe you've got an eternity, but I'm on schedule! What's this? The candidate shall be relieved of all that binds him or her to the physical world. That's what that bracelet does. Now, why don't you wait outside and step through when your number's called? Step through what? Look, I better go home. You are going home. You're going home to the next life. Next life? But I'm not done with this life yet. Oh, really? Now, where did you hear about us? From the radio, in the hearse. Oh, boy, a pain in my... Ah, uh, hearse, 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 hearse. Here, here, Carpenter, Daniel James, buried this afternoon. Ah, uh, whoo! Missed that crossover point by a long shot. What's the matter? You stayed with the hearse too long? Is that it? Yeah, well, that happens. But I'm not dead, and I'm not that carpenter guy. There's been a mistake. You know something? You're absolutely right. There's been a terrible mistake. Now, I'm going to work out this mistake, but in the meantime, why don't you wait outside, and when your turn comes up, step through that door. Hey, uh, pick up the pace, pal. We don't have old century. No. No, you're mistaken. I'm not supposed to go. No, you made a mistake. You're the wrong man. He led a nasty life, and he's going to lead a much nastier afterlife. Step outside. Your turn is coming. <laughs> I'm still ticked off you, but I gotta tell you something really weird. Oh, come on! This is serious! That radio station I heard in the hearse? I went there! There are all these strange people hanging around. I think they were all dead. Don't ignore me, I'm not making this up! Hey, Ron, what's up, man? It wasn't a normal radio station! These dead guys were gonna cross over to the next life or something! No, I think I'm just gonna work on the hearse for a little while. Did you hear what I said? These things drag you through the door, and there's all this screaming coming from the other side, and... Oh, yeah, are you gonna listen to Clark and Ryan? <laughs> cool. They stick this bracelet on you, and you kind of feel a little lighter. He said it's the first step. You're crazy. I never miss Clark and Ryan. I'm probably gonna listen to it on the radio in the hearse. Forget Clark and Ryan. Listen to me. <laughs> oh, man. You can't see me. It's this thing! I'm not moving! I'm not gonna go! I'm staying right here! Mom! Lose this! So to speak, 
This is station 109.1 at the end of your radio dial for spirits at the end of their ropes. I made that up. <laughs> We're here to help all of those lost souls who missed the boat. If you didn't cross over at the time of your death, then we're here to help. Don't roam the earth forever. It's time to move on to the next life. Two seven nine eight five six eight five six. This is one oh nine point one radio for the dimensionally challenged. Mister, you gotta listen to me. Roy. The name is Roy. Roy, you got the wrong guy. Boy. If I had a dime for every time somebody tried to weasel out of debt, it would actually do me no good at all, because I'm dead. What do I need money for? What am I going to do? I'm dead. What am I going to do? Buy gum? But you're making a mistake. I don't make mistakes, buddy boy. When I was alive, I worked for the Department of Motor Vehicles. Nine, four, eight. Ever wonder where the term your numbers up came from? Well, now you know. This made a mistake! We got the wrong guy! Everybody's got a story. Are they on? Come on, Jamie, be there. It's the Clark and Ryan show. Hey, Clark. Hey, Ryan. Well, I'm here. Jamie, Jamie, this is Chris. Take me there. Can you help me find the way home? I'm Daniel Carpenter. Sure you are, bud. All right, say, uh, how much is my brother paying you? Please help me. Please don't run away. I need help. And so does your brother. Jamie, this is real. You gotta come get me. What are you, crazy? I can lose my job! I can be triple! Don't bother running, kid. There's nowhere to hide. Hey! Leave him alone! Six, 
Carpenter, you fool! No, you're not. I would have had you processed already. That's him! It's not, that's my brother. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Chris! Are you okay? Yeah. They rejected me. They, they said I wasn't dead. Uh-oh. They also said they wanted to have a word with you. Oh, great. There goes my pension. Did you really go to the other side? I guess. It all kind of happened fast. All right. Let's not make a federal case out of this. So I made a teensy-weensy little mistake, and I was about to send an innocent young boy to his death. What? None of you ever did that before. Look, you take the bracelet off your wrist, put it on his wrist, we'll forget this whole thing ever happened. <laughs> Aren't you afraid it'll be horrible? It's only horrible if you've led a bad life. If you led a good life, it's the best thing going. Back to the real world, bro. <laughs> so the next time you play your radio, listen close. You may just pick up a signal just for you. And if you don't let me in after that story, you haven't been listening to me. Like we said, it has to be unanimous. And you're in! Cool. I'll never forget you for this. Ew! Come on, give us a hug. <laughs> no way. Control him or I'll throw you both out. You love me.